Welcome, 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 welcome to the Anointed Gina Show. Whoop, whoop. The Anointed Gina Show. The Anointed Gina Show. Hey, welcome back, y'all. I'm just so excited. I'm pumping my spirit. I hope y'all are too. God is so good. He's so faithful. Hallelujah. God is doing so much. I'm so excited about what God is about to do. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Stay tuned. We got a good episode today. So I hope y'all stay, stay for the entire, uh, listen to the end, listen to the end. You know how they say, watch to the end, listen to the end y'all. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Shout out to all my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. Hallelujah. Shout out to YouTube and to hallelujah to TikTok. Amen. Shout out to you guys. God bless you. God bless you. May heaven shine upon you guys. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Holy ghost. Yes. Holy ghost. Hallelujah. God is getting the glory. So I'm excited about what he's doing and what he's about to do in the season hallelujah it's the season for podcasts ah it's the season for podcasts yes honey yes all right stay tuned for i won't keep you guys uh stay tuned for the uh scheduled event life is spiritual life is spiritual amen today i was thinking about you guys are entering my thoughts today (laughs) uh god has been dealing with me some downloads and this is extremely powerful you guys whoever whoever is listening i want you to give your rap attention your undivided attention do not be distracted with um going forward i just want you to know that distraction is one of the things that the enemy uses for you to lose your blessing because one of the ways that god blesses you is through illumination is through light through revelation is through wisdom is to gain an understanding in your mind and in your thoughts opening up your imagination so that is one of the ways to be delivered hallelujah it's not always you know you fall down on the floor and be delivered sometimes your deliverance come from understanding You can feel the power of God and the blessings of the Lord and the empowerment through his power, through, you know, experiences, but the true deliverance come from the, the changed of your mind. The Bible says to be renewed in your mind, be renewed in your mind. Amen. We want to talk about thoughts today. Um, I think it's pretty amazing how God is. He's so amazing. I want to drive this point here about the mind. I want you to know that we were made in the image of God. Amen. And because we're made in the image of God, life is spiritual. I want you to think about that. Life is spiritual. When God created man, he made him a living soul. And God is a spirit. He said, they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. I'm not sure if you've heard that scripture. But they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Life is spiritual what is the Lord saying? What What is he saying exactly? Amen. Amen. Think about that. Did you think about it? <laughs> life is spiritual. Someone write in the comments. Life is spiritual. Hallelujah. 
So I was meditating upon the word of God today. The Bible says to meditate upon his word day and night and you will have good success. What does it mean to meditate? Meditate means to really just to think about it, to think about something over and over and over again. So God wants us to fill our minds with his word, to fill our minds. Uh, There is a scripture that says, think on things that are true, things that are just, things that are praiseworthy. Why is God so focused on our minds? Amen. Amen. Why is he so concerned with our mind? I want you to ask yourself, Why is God concerned about my mind? Amen. Keep my mind. Hallelujah. There is a reason he's concerned about your mind, y'all. There is a reason. Let me tell you, there is a reason he is concerned about your mind. God cares about your mind. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He cares about your mind. Amen. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians 10 verse five says, casting down imagination and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God, bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ and having all readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Amen. It starts in the mind. Hallelujah. It starts with your imagination. So God has been dealing with me with this, um, this thought that there is a realm of the, the unseen realm. Hallelujah. God is dealing with me about the unseen realm, the realm that you cannot see so that God created dimensions, pure, just like he created the universe. He created the earth. He created many different worlds and he also also created many different realities, many different dimensions, dimensions that you can see with your physical eye and dimensions that you cannot see with your physical eye. Amen. Isn't he a great God? I want you to just take some time and just begin to praise God. Hallelujah. God, you are great. I want you to write in a comment, God, you are great. Why? Because you are a bad God. You created not only the universe that we, universe is still being created hallelujah even after so many thousands of years there is there is there is planets that are still being created y'all can y'all believe that and there is dimensions that we can see and dimensions that we cannot see so I want you to write in a comment, the unseen realm, the unseen dimension. Hallelujah. So I'm going to give you a few scriptures here. Hallelujah. To drive this point. Hallelujah. That there is an unseen realm and I'm going to tie it all together. We want to continue on the series of life is spiritual. I want to hallelujah build on this. So stay with me. Stay with me. Give me your wrap undivided attention. I want you to pay attention. Hallelujah. If you can multiply. Multitask. I want you to multitask, but make sure you have my on un, your undivided attention. Amen. I want you to treat distraction like it came from the pit of hell. Hallelujah. Glory to God, because distraction is one of the weapons that the enemies use. Hallelujah. And the Bible says for us, hallelujah, not to be ignorant to Satan's devices. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So let's read. Um, let's start with Hebrew 11 verse 3. Um, uh, we can start with um, Hebrews, but I think I want to go to verse one second. I think I want to go to verse one. Uh, hallelujah. I think I want to go to verse one because, uh, it starts at verse 11 to drive my point, but I, I like to start the scripture. This is just a side note for you guys. When you read the word of God, I like to start a scripture above and a scripture below, just kind of put in context the scripture and to, it is important to always read the word of God in context. Amen. Amen. It says now faith is the assurance, the confirmation, the title, the deed of things we hope for being the proof of things that we do not see and the conviction of their reality. Faith perceiving as real fact, which is not revealed to the senses for by faith, trust, and holy favor born of faith, 
men of old and divine testimony born to them obtain a good report. And verse 3, by faith we understand that the worlds during the su- suggestive age were formed, fashioned, put into order, equipped for their intended purposes by the word of God. So that we see that which we see that which not made out of things that were visible. Hallelujah. So let me read that again. By faith, we understood that the world during the suggestive age was framed, fashioned, put in order and equipped in their transcendent purpose by the word of God so that they were so, so that we see that which was made out of things that were that are visible. So I'm going to read this in a different translation. This sounds a bit confusion, Hallelujah. confusing <laughs> the drive uh, that point. Okay, so let's see here. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He is faithful. So I'm going to read um, verse 3 into King James Version. So though we understood the worlds that were framed by the word of God, so things were seen, were made out of things. Things which are seen were not made from things which do appear. So the things that we see were made out of things that we, that was made from the invisible realm. Let's go to another scripture here. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. He's faithful, isn't he? He is faithful. Hallelujah. I want you to write in the comments, the unseen realm. Have your way, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. (laughs) God is faithful. Um, I want to go to Colossians 1 verse 15 through 20. I think this will clear up the point a bit. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. All right. So, hallelujah. In other words, things that we see were made out of things that were unseen. Amen. So this is what Hebrew 11 verse 3 is saying, that everything that you see right now was made out of something that you cannot see. So there is a realm that things that everything this world this dimension this earth these earthly things everything that God created came from the unseen realm so he created multiple dimensions and when he created multiple dimensions there were things that were hidden in the unseen realm hallelujah and it's amazing uh this is where we get the term supernatural because it's not something we can see it's not something we can prove it's not something that we can talk we can talk about it we can experience it we can feel it but we can't always see um the unseen realm because it's not visible to the naked eye god is so powerful that he created dimension seen and unseen amen and god created a dimension Amen. In the unseen realm, it is extremely powerful. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I'm going to go ahead and read verse uh, 14. I want to start a little bit above, but our key verse is verse 16. In whom we have our redemption through his blood, which the forgiveness of sins. Now, now he is exact like like likeliness of the unseen God, the visible representation of the visible. He is the firstborn of all creation. Hallelujah. So Jesus is God. So basically it's saying that Jesus came, became flesh and dwell among us. He is God for it is in him who all things were created in heaven and on earth. I'm going to read that again. In him was all things created in heaven and on earth. So the heavens, the sky, the seas, the land, everything was created. 
the things seen and the things unseen, whether thrones, dominions, rulers, or authority, all things were created and existed through him by his service, intervention, and in and in and for him. And he himself existed before all things, and in him all things co- um, consist cohere and are held together so everything is held together through god through hallelujah through jesus christ the hallelujah the the visible representation of a great god hallelujah so god dwells in multiple dimensions and a lot of times in the scripture people get confused because our our minds cannot fathom how great god is uh because uh if our mind was to fathom how great god is we will become unalive the second we encounter god that's how powerful he is it's a very powerful and amazing god that dwells in multiple dimensions um he is the head of the body um let's see he is the beginning of the firstborn among the, the dead that he is alone in everything and in every aspect might occupy the cheap place stand firm in to be in pre intermits so hallelujah thank you Jesus so everything that was made was made out of things unseen so there is a unseen realm like the Bible says that the things that are seen are temporary but the things that are unseen are permanent so what are the things that are unseen that are permanent faith can you see faith i mean we have faith we can feel faith but can you see faith hallelujah can you see faith hallelujah glory to god can you see love You can feel love. You can see people respond to love based on their actions. But can you actually see love? Can you see patience, joy, peace? But we feel these things. But can you see them? I want you to think about that. So this is uh, taken up in 2 Corinthians 4 verse 18. It says, since we, uh, since we consider and look at the things that are, that are seen, but it's the things that are unseen for the things that are, that are visible are temporary, brief, fleeting, but the things that are invisible are deathless and everlasting what it's uh, amplified classic um in the king james version it says things are eternal so it's um they last forever they don't go away they they exist in a realm that we cannot see but those things they last forever they have an everlasting existence amen and the scripture, um, if you read the different translation, it says that God created realms seen and unseen. And in this dimension, um, when God created realms seen and unseen, the seen realm, the, the earth, the things of this earth was created out of a world that we can't even see, a dimension that we cannot even see visible, but it actually exists. Amen. Thrones, dominions. This is the realm where demons and angels exist. So there is light and there's darkness. In Genesis, God said, the first thing that God did was he said that he created, he said, let there be light and there was light. So there was darkness upon the earth. But this was not a natural darkness. This was spiritual darkness. This was when God was creating the realm of the unseen. Amen. He was creating the realm of the unseen. So to to the time, with God, there is no time. But for man, when God created the earth, each day is about a thousand years to us is about a day to the Lord. That's what the scripture says. So uh, creation was finished about 7,000 years in human time. Amen. But the first thing in that first uh, thousand years that when God started the creation, hallelujah, creation process, he said, he said, let there be light. And there was light. 
glory to God. Glory to God. He said, let there be light. And there was light. Mm. That'll preach right there. Hallelujah. Some of you need to speak light into your dead situation. You need to speak light into those dark areas of your life, the dark areas of your emotions, the dark areas of your mind, the dark areas of your spirit. I need someone to write in the comments, let there be light. And when you say it, I want you to say it by faith. And I want you to say, I'm saying this by faith. Let there be light. So what is light? Light is is wisdom, it's illumination, it's revelation, it's understanding. Hallelujah. So God created a realm of knowledge and understanding in a different dimension. That's why it's important to be filled with his spirit. Hallelujah. Because when God created Adam and Eve, we were created perfectly. Man and spirit. We're spiritual beings. The Bible says that God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. What is he talking about? When, hallelujah, God is a spirit, we're made in the likeness of God. So when God created us, (laughs) he created us in his likeness. So he created us as spiritual beings in an earthly body. So we have a spiritual, our spirit man is hidden inside the fleshly clay body that God has given us. And then he breathed into us the breath of life, which gave us life. Hallelujah. Which allow us to to speak, communicate. Hallelujah. God gave us life. Mm. Glory to God. Glory to God. We are spirit. Hallelujah. That's why the spirit of the Lord says, they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. It's almost impossible to worship God. Hallelujah. If you don't have the Holy Spirit to worship him in spirit, because when man fell, they fell. They lost that spiritual connection. So that's why it's really hard for us to fathom the supernatural. But every Christian that is born again, filled with his Holy Spirit, should be walking and moving in the supernatural. This should be a regular occurrence. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says to walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. God wants us to walk after the Spirit, y'all. We should be walking in the realm of the unseen. We should be walking by faith. What is faith? Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. That is the definition of faith. It says it's the confirmation, the title, the deed. So, whoa, back up. How can the thing, how can the thing that I'm hoping for, I already have it? How is it that if I believe God, it is already mine? because it's hidden in an unseen realm. It's called the supernatural realm. It's called the spiritual realm. People call it many names, but it is an unseen dimension that God created when he first came to the earth. And everything is in, everything was made from this dimension. It's the dimension where demons and angels dwell and coexist. There is light and there's darkness. And the Bible says that God created, hallelujah. He said, let there be light and there was light. And God separated the light from the darkness. Amen. I want you to think about that. God separated the light from the darkness. God separated the light from the darkness. Be separated. Be ye separated. Separate yourself from darkness. Separate yourself from darkness. Dark thoughts. Dark emotions. Dark imaginations. Dark visions. The Bible says, hallelujah, let there be light. You can speak to your emotions. You can speak to your mind. You can speak to your thoughts. You can speak to your body. Let there be light. God spoke and it was so. You are made in his likeness. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So when the scripture says that um, to walk in the spirit, 
So in order to access this dimension, uh, you have to be filled with the spirit of God. You have to be born again, filled with his spirit. According to Acts 2.38, uh, you have to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Uh, according to John 3, 1 through 5, it says you have to be born of the water and of the spirit for you to enter into this kingdom. You enter into the kingdom of God. You can't even access this, the spiritual realm, the spiritual kingdom without his Holy Spirit. So you must be born again. The Bible says that even if you're baptized in the name of Jesus, if you repent and turn away from your sin and, and be baptized, you will receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You will receive this amazing gift that God has given. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. You'll be blessed. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to think about that. Think about that. Amen. So to wrap up, what I'm saying is, Life is spiritual. Hallelujah. And the things of the spirit is real. Amen. 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 I want to continue with the series. I pray that you follow along. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast. Um, I appreciate your time. I want you to think about that. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments about the unseen realm that God has created. The spiritual realm. Hallelujah. What questions do you have? Amen. And I do want to pray. I just want to pray for you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That you will receive this word that the things that are hidden, the things that are unseen are the things that are permanent. Amen. So don't dwell on the things that are unseen. Don't put your faith and trust in things that are seen because it's the things that are unseen that are eternal everlasting so don't put your faith in money yes it's great to live a good life it's great to have good money but invest in your spiritual life invest in your spiritual walk invest in god invest hallelujah in the holy spirit Take time to pray. Take time to read your word. Hallelujah. Give him your all. Give him 110%. Hallelujah. Give him your best. Hallelujah. Invest in God. Invest in the things of God and in the people of God. And as you begin to honor this, it's, it's, it's similar to walking in the spirit. The, the realm of the spirit sees that you're investing in the things of the spirit. God's favor and honor begins to follow you uh, when you do this. Hallelujah. Because God honor those. Hallelujah. The Bible says draw nigh unto him and he'll draw nigh unto you. Amen. So you draw nigh to him. That's going to, he is going to draw nigh unto you. One of the ways that we access the unseen realm, even whether or not you, even if you're not a Christian, one of the ways is through worship, it's through music. Music is like a portal to the heavenlies and it's also a portal to the demonic. It goes both ways. The unseen realm is very vast. Remember, there was light and darkness in Genesis. So there is light and darkness. So I do want to caution you in this unseen realm that there are dark things. So make sure that if you desire Desire the things of the spirit, desire to walk in the supernatural, do it through the Holy Ghost, do it through the Holy Spirit, because hallelujah, if you go through hallelujah, anything other than the Holy Spirit, God does not prohibit this, hallelujah, and it's what we consider the occult or witchcraft, so if you enter the unseen realm or enter the supernatural through any other means other than through the Holy Spirit, it is against the will of God. And the Bible says, suffer not a witch to live, y'all. Suffer not a witch to live. That is the word of God quoted. So let me tell you, don't do it. <laughs> you will regret it. And it will be a disservice to you and to your children because the Bible says that when there is a 
curse placed upon someone, it's hallelujah passed down to until the fourth generation, unless there is repentance. Amen. So do, do not enter the unseen realm without the Holy Spirit. And even when you do this, make sure that you verify, you confirm everything that you receive through the word of God. Everything is confirmed through the word of God. The word of God is our guide. The Bible says the word of God is our lamp unto our feet and light unto our pathway. So I just want to wrap this up by saying, do not entertain anything or any ministry that hallelujah preaches and teaches any other doctrine hallelujah other than the word of God the Bible says to add do not add to the word of God and do not take away any man that add or take away anything from the word of God it is a curse it is a curse if what they're teaching does not line up with the word of God it is a curse their ministry is cursed their hands are cursed that business is cursed it does not line up with the word of God if they proclaim the name of Jesus hallelujah and it doesn't and their doctrine does not line up with scripture hallelujah they're, then they're walking in a curse and we'll touch base on a curse later but i want you to bear with me hallelujah as they say in the social media world trust the process trust the process y'all y'all these are um this is just what god has been dealing with me this is extremely powerful to understand that there is an unseen realm and understand how important the holy spirit is when jesus when jesus died and he stayed 50 days to teach the disciples hallelujah to to stay with them to encourage them before he was ascended he said you shall receive power after the holy ghost have come upon you what is the holy ghost the holy ghost is the holy spirit it's god manifested as wind it's the breath of god hallelujah it's the ruha of god the four winds of god hallelujah that causes things to exist in this dimension hallelujah it's the breath of god amen his breath is powerful and if god's breath is powerful how great is our god how powerful is our god amen 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 god bless you god bless you may heaven shine upon you make sure um not sure if you guys seen my uh, my my next few videos i am going to be talking about the supernatural and the unseen realm and on youtube i actually have been having an angelic encounter the bible says that he, hallelujah his angels encamp around those that fear him so if you fear the lord if you honor god his angels are in camp around you amen hallelujah jesus always verify any supernatural experience that you've had verify it with the word of God hallelujah every supernatural experience does not come from God remember there is light and darkness in Genesis when he created the unseen realm and he said hallelujah let there be light and he said let the light separates from darkness so be ye separated hallelujah access the supernatural realm through the holy spirit hallelujah if you're into witchcraft if you're into the occult come out now and join the holy ghost uh, do it the right way repent turn away from hallelujah hallelujah access in any supernatural realm without god amen without the holy spirit it is not god's way hallelujah and you will walk in a curse so if you want to walk in a blessings if you want to walk in generational blessings hallelujah so i'm gonna pray over you hallelujah glory to god amen amen So I'm just excited. God is so good. So let's pray. Let's pray. And I have a few announcements. So uh, watch till the very, very end, y'all. God bless y'all. Those that are following, if you're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, this will, you guys are early birds. So make sure you follow on podcast and Apple Podcasts apple podcast because you guys will get the podcast early before i share it with everyone so yes that is the benefit of joining spotify
Spotify. And actually, I don't know if you guys know this, but Spotify is actually free, but they also have planned if you don't like commercials and things like that. So Spotify is really cool. Apple Podcasts is really cool. But y'all, uh, follow on Apple Podcasts. Oh, I thank God for your support. Thank God. Leave a review, y'all. Leave a review if this is a blessing to you so we can continue to make great and amazing content for you guys. Let us pray. Father, we thank you and we praise you, oh God. I praise you, oh God, for who you are and what you're about to do. Father, I pray that you let this world word fall on good ground. Father, I pray, oh God, that hallelujah, somebody out there will be touched by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. And Father, I pray, oh God, that they will have an encounter with you, have an encounter with you in Jesus name. I pray that they will encounter you, God, in a supernatural way in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray, oh God, regardless of what they believe, whether hallelujah before they started this podcast i pray oh god that their their mind will just be illuminated just a small bit even the more i thank you and i praise you for revelation knowledge wisdom oh god and i pray oh god that they will receive this word hallelujah in jesus name amen wow i god is so good that came straight from God, y'all. So I hope y'all receive it. Mm. This whole series came from God. I felt such a strong anointing on this. Make sure you watch and rewatch the series. I favorite the series. Comment below on YouTube when I do post this. Y'all, this was powerful, powerful stuff. So stay tuned. Hallelujah. We're going to continue to drive the point of the unseen realm because this is what God wants us to do. He wants us to walk in the supernatural. He says, walk in the spirit. What is the spirit? The spiritual realm, which is the supernatural. God wants us to walk in this realm. It shouldn't be foreign to us. We shouldn't be, uh, we shouldn't be too surprised about angels and, and demons being cast out because we're supposed to walk in the realm of the spirit. Amen. Amen. Just as long as this is, hallelujah, verified through the word of God. Hallelujah. It has to line up with scripture. If it doesn't line up with scripture, throw it out. Hallelujah. It has to line up with scripture. Hallelujah. So if someone says it's not in the Bible and everything is not in the Bible, the blood of Jesus. <laughs> if it don't line up with scripture, throw it out. Amen. Amen. That's how the enemy can creep up in our minds. The Bible says to cast down imagination and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. So we're casting down those things that come not, that does not come from God. Amen. So to wrap this up, we thank God for you. We thank God for what he's doing, what he's about to do. I thank God that this was amazing. Amazing. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Mm. So I'm really excited. So as far as on YouTube, um, I'm going to be driving this series as well. Um, well, I am doing a lot of my reposts, very highly edited reposts. So definitely check out YouTube, uh, show your support, leave a comment. Hallelujah. For the algorithm, we need some comments. I need about 20 y'all to leave a comment y'all and subscribe. Hallelujah. It will bless you. It will bless you. Hallelujah. Because it will give you a new perspective in the realm of the spirit amen this is get you will not leave the same way you came whether you're listening to this on podcast whether you're listening to my youtube where you're following for the videos whatever it is that you like you will not be the same you will not be the same amen hallelujah Glory to God. There is an unseen realm. Glory to God. So God bless you. God bless you. May heaven shine upon you. I hope you guys come back for the next podcast. Hallelujah. For my early birds. I love y'all. For those that are going to watch this early. That are going to see this before it drops. You're going to see it before it drops on Spotify. So make sure you download Spotify. Um, and uh, Apple Podcasts. Shout out to y'all. Um, so I'm loving Spotify and Apple Podcasts. So if y'all want to do a collab, that would be amazing. So I'm just, uh, this video is not sponsored by Spotify or Apple Podcasts, but I am a fan because they allow me to express my creativity. So I'm excited about that. But 
definitely i am uh happy that they uh, i remember when spotify was not free so i rem- uh, i am even with the commercial I'm, i appreciate spotify for being free so i i really appreciate that um you know i know that right now podcasting especially voice podcasting is not super popular so guys show definitely show your support um it's not as popular as video but i want y'all to make this popular amen we're going to we're going to make jesus be glorified in this season glory to god uh so i'm also on patreon look up my name anointed gina you can google me anointed gina i'm on patreon youtube and um spotify apple Podcasts. check me out follow and share share with a friend share with someone that needs encouragement upliftment in jesus name someone that needs to be saved hallelujah share with them so that they can feel the love of christ and they will feel encouraged use my podcast as a witnessing tool amen amen hallelujah i pray that we're never too old or too young to learn something new it doesn't matter how long you've been saved so listen to this podcast gain some new knowledge look up some new scriptures amen look at get a different perspective hallelujah get a new perspective amen so thank you guys for your time i pray that it was blessed encouraged uplifting i pray that the peace of god follows you i pray that you're strengthened encouraged and uplifted in jesus name amen